Hi, I'm Tim Cavanaugh, comedian and speaker, and here I am at my job, being laughed at at work. A lot. Like all the time. For most jobs, that's a bad thing. For me, I wouldn't have it any other way. My comedy is clean, so everybody has a good time. I write funny material just for your group, so the show is always unique and on target. And my show is interactive. Hey, I'm there live, you're there live, let's talk and have some fun. So what's so funny? Here's a sample. We were up in Appleton yesterday, and we went up to the mall, and I feel bad. I made a woman cry out at the mall. Well, she came up to me with a clipboard. She said, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? I said, no, that's fine. She said, on average, how much money do you make every year? I thought about it with the best straight face I could manage. I said, uh, $250,000. She says, what do you do for a living? I said, I take surveys over at the other mall. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she didn't think it was funny, but I agree with you guys. I really kind of was. I have a nephew who just applied for a job out at the mall. He said the job applications have gotten very complicated. This one had a lot of fill-in-the-blank questions, a lot of true-false questions. One question read, when I'm at work, my mind is generally blank. He put true. <laughs> Probably the easiest one, but... Uh... Before coming up to the Abbey, I asked the nice folks here at Blaine's Farm and Fleet to send me some information about the company. And they're kind enough to send me an advance copy of the next Fleeting Moments magazine, uh, which happened to be the swimsuit edition. And uh, let me just say six pages of Bob Glazer and little Speedos. Uh, more information than I wanted to have, to be honest with you. I, I, is Bob here? I, uh, yeah, I... Didn't recognize him with the pants and everything. But anyway, uh, before dinner, I had a long talk with Ken Peterson. I didn't want to. He just kept talking. But uh, we, uh, we got talking about teamwork. And that's one of the things that I think makes this company so successful is its commitment to teamwork. And just as sports teams will sometimes make themselves stronger by making trades with other teams, the same is true in business. And that's why I'm excited to announce that Farm and Fleet is trading Pete Lombardo to Fleet Farm for a 1996 Ford pickup and two office temps to be named later. So... So, are you involved in the insurance business at all? No, I'm a minister. <laughs> I don't know. I should apologize for everything. <laughs> For my, for my even being here. So, so, so you're a minister and you're married to the money guy over here. Yeah, there you go. And, and yeah, there's some New Testament, you know, conflict uh, going on there. But that's just his job. He has to do it. My gosh, I'm sure he renders under Caesar. Whatever that is. You, you know, I'll leave the quote to you. Uh, so you're a minister. Wow, that is very, very impressive. I'll tell you what. Boy. Uh, what, uh, what denomination are you? Um, it's Christian Church, Disciples of Christ, Christian Church. Disciples of Christ. Oh, they're the ones with the motorcycles. <laughs> I saw Jim Book. He's got, he's got the leather jacket. And he's got the speedo. Oh, yeah, the speedo. I shouldn't have mentioned that. All right. <laughs> that they didn't mention my introduction. I, I, I was a teacher at an all-girls Catholic high school, but I was a religion teacher. Believe it or not, I'm not making that up. This is a, that is so weird. And the hardest question I got, and I, I need your advice on this because I don't think I answered it correctly. The qu kids would always ask me, what's the difference between purgatory and hell? You know, I used to try to explain it as well. Hell, of course, is very, very hot. In purgatory, it's not so much the heat, it's the humidity. <laughs> That's Iowa. That's Iowa, yeah. <laughs>